market. Uh, people do use whiteboards, but they don't. They use them grudgingly, and a lot of times they only get used for a short while. The reason is most whiteboards and most of their software are built for educational purposes, and so people are afraid in business to learn that educational software. Well, one, it takes a long time. Two, you have to learn it. And three, once you've learned it, you're going to move on to another job. You may not have a whiteboard in the end anyway. So what we did is we tried to boil the, our software down a bit and come up with a business model that was easy to learn and easy to operate, almost CEO for you, okay? you got to cut that out. <laughs> so what, the first thing is, is that to calibrate it. There's a button right here to calibrate the, project, to calibrate the projector in the pen. Uh, it's a nine-point calibration. It only takes about two minutes. You probably only have to do it maybe once a week, depending if the walls vibrate or not. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, then once you once you uh, start uh, to start it, all you have to do is just press the icon with your mouse and, and off you go. So now we've opened up our software. Uh, the first thing that we have is a pen. Okay, that's what you need for a whiteboard. Wow. You have a pen. I've made a mistake, so now I've got an eraser. Another thing that's important is white. Now you can get into the tools and, and check the tool properties, but that's the advanced learning, and that's not CEO proof, so we don't even go there, right? So we're out of it. Okay, the next thing is, is this right here. This shows you what we've been doing. It's not saving so much as it's, if once I turn off the computer, this will all go away. But if we were having a meeting, this is our meeting. Okay? And so these are our meeting notes. And well, if I want a new page, that's a new page. Uh, I, our meeting notes. Now I can save them. Right now I only have the R file up, but it could, you could save them as a Word document. You could save them as a PDF. You could save them as a HTML file. You could save them as a JPEG. So now I can save what we've done, and I can I can do whatever I want with it. One of the things that I will want to do is when I do a presentation, I will want to probably do a PowerPoint. I'll probably have a PowerPoint that I'm going to work on. But all I have to do is push that button, and now I can import my PowerPoint file into the software, and I can annotate over it, and then save it as a PowerPoint. Okay. Um, the other thing I might want to do is I might want to email all those notes that we have in there. I, can, I want to email. Now I've got a PDF that I can have all of those pages and I can email. Touch there, touch there. I can either go into my Outlook and, and find an address or I can type an address. Okay? And actually I can I could actually write an address over here too. 